Hello, fifth grade. We are working on chapter 12, lesson five. We are on page 929. And this is your math with Mrs. Cox. All right, dividing, diving into this chapter. It'll be handy if you have this saved as a screenshot onto your iPad. Um, it's quite helpful. Today on Classifying Quadrilaterals, uh, you need to remember three things that we're gonna use on just about every single one of these questions. Well, you can, class, you can classify quadrilaterals using one or, the, one or more attributes like congruent sides. Now remember, congruent means same length. So sides are the same length is one of the ways we can classify. Another one is parallel sides and right angles. All right, as you can tell, from our little handy dandy worksheet here, we are gonna be talking about quadrilateral, specifically parallelograms. And in the parallelograms, in to be in this club, they have to have two pairs of parallel sides. So let's look right here. Here's a side that's parallel, two sides, and then here's two sides that are parallel. So there's two pairs. Same with this one. That end is parallel with that end. This side is parallel with that side. So there are two parallel sides. Now, in the parallelogram club, there are rhombuses. Rhombus is like a square that got sat on, and it does not have right angles. See, this is an obtuse angle, it's big. This one's a cute little angle, it's little. So the rhombus, it does have four equal sides, but there isn't the right angles. But it's in the parallelogram club because it has two side, two pairs of sides that are parallel. Same with a rectangle. This side is parallel with this side. This side is parallel with that side. There are two parallel sides. And this one has four right angles and it has four corners. So it fits in the parallelogram club. Now the square is just kind of the coolest cat in the whole house. It's a very important polygon because it fits into all of the groups. It can fit into the rectangle club, the rhombus club, and the parallelogram club. So the square has four four equal sides, and it has two parallel sides, and it has four right angles. Okay, let's dive into our lesson. All right, we are going to use these classifications to answer all of these questions. I'm just gonna pull that up just a little bit right there. Perfect. Trina cut out polygon mats to use for her travel photos. Use the photos below to determine the missing attributes for each quadrilateral. All right, trapezoid. Trapezoid is a quadrilateral with exactly how many pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Okay, this side and this side definitely are not parallel. The only ones that are parallel are this one and this one. So there is only one pair of opposite sides that are parallel. Let's talk about our rectangular rectangle here. Rectangle is a parallelogram with how many right angles. Now remember, you can get a right angle if you can draw a letter L because that'll give you a right angle. And how many red squares do we see in that for right angles? You're right, there are four right angles. Square, these are a very important polygon that fits into all the clubs. A square is a parallel parallelogram with four sides that are congruent or four sides that are the same length. And there are four right angles. Got to pull this up just a little bit. A square has all the attributes of a rectangle and what? Well, if you look at this one, square has all the attributes of a rectangle and a rhombus, and meaning that there's four sides and there's four corners and there's four angles. So, rhombus. All right, speaking of rhombus, let's talk about this rhombus right here. A rhombus is a parallelogram with how many sides that are congruent or same length? Yep, you're right, four. Okay, I believe we've got everything filled out on that page. Let's turn to 930. All right, one side are the Real Ailey building in Madrid, and I know I just slaughtered that name in Spain is shown to the right. 
Describe the attributes of the quadrilateral. Then classify it based on its attributes. Remember, we need to classify it. If its attributes are going to be um, congruent sides, same length, parallel sides, and right angles. So the quadrilateral has opposite sides that are congruent, which means the same length right here. See, the opposite sides are the same length. These opposite sides are the same length. And they are also, think of train tracks. Parallel means they're like train tracks. See, they're parallel. They're not going to intersect right there. So it is called a, you're right, parallelogram because there are two sides that are parallel. See, here's your word parallel. Then you'd go O-gram, parallelogram. That is what that shape is. Guided practice. Let's describe the attributes of the quadrilateral below, then classify the quadrilateral based on its attributes. All right, let's talk about opposite sides. This side and this side are parallel. This side and this side are parallel. So I would say the opposite sides of the quadrilateral are what? That funny word that has to do with our friend from the Minions? Yep, gru. There's his name, gru. Int. The opposite sides are congruent, or they are the same length. And they are also parallel. which means they're like train tracks. See, these ones are parallel, and then these ones are parallel. And how many right angles do you guys count? That's right. Good job. So this quadrilateral is a rectangle. See, right there, rectangle. Fabulous. Okay, let's do number two, shall we? The design below is made up of a repeating quadrilateral. Describe the attributes of the quadrilateral. Remember, looking for um, we are looking for sides, angles, and parallel. Okay, so let's talk about this. How many congruent sides does it have? Good, you're right. A quadrilateral has four sides. The opposite sides need to be what? So the opposite sides need to be like train tracks, so they are parallel. You're going to know how to spell these words by the end of this lesson. So this quadrilateral is a what? What is that shape? If we were to take one of those little shapes, what is that? Is it a square, a rectangle, or a... Yep, you've guessed it. Rhombus. Good job. All right, we're going to dive on over to 931. Cover the answers here. Okay, describe the attributes of each quadrilateral and then classify the quadrilateral. Okay, so they're wanting us to talk about sides and then tell if they're parallel or not and then have us tell them what club it fits into. Okay, so let's look. This side... And this side are parallel, so there's one pair of parallel sides. That side and that side are parallel, so there are two sides that are parallel. So I'm going to say opposite sides are congruent, which means they are the same length. Those are the same length, and they're parallel. So we're going to call that a parallelogram. Opposite sides are congruent and parallel, so it is a parallelogram. Okay, then this funny little shape right here. Opposite sides are congruent, and these opposite sides are parallel too. This looks like a square that's been sat on. All the sides are congruent. They are all equal. This one just has opposite sides. That's why that one is a parallelogram. This one is gonna be considered a rhombus. If we look at our fancy, fancy little sheet here, we can see that a rhombus has four equal sides, even though it's been set on a little bit. That's why it's not called square. Fabulous. Push pause if you need to to get all of that information down. 
and I'm going to plow on forward. Circle the quadrilaterals that have all the attributes of a parallelogram. Okay, so a parallelogram has two sides that are parallel, two pairs of parallel. Okay, so rhombus, there's two parallel sides. Rectangle, rectangles have parallel sides. Parallelograms have parallel sides. And the last word we have is trapezoid. Well, trapezoid is kind of out here in outer darkness here. It doesn't fit in the parallelogram club because it only has one pair of opposite sides. So the one that does not belong in the parallelogram club is the trapezoid. Good, follow, me, follow along with me to number six. Circle the quadrilaterals that have the, all the attributes of a rhombus. Okay, a rhombus, a rhombus has four equal sides. Okay, so a parallelogram, well, parallelogram doesn't really always have four equal sides. It has two pairs that have to be equal sides, but not all four are equal. Okay, so parallelogram is definitely not what we're looking for. Trapezoid, trapezoid doesn't have anything that's congruent there. So that's one of the things it needs to have. Rectangle, so a rhombus has four congruent sides, but a rectangle doesn't have four congruent sides. So the only one that the rhombus fits into is the square because it both have all congruent sides. So then our answer is going to be square because that's they share the same attributes the only thing that's different is that a square has right angles and a rhombus because it's been sat on it has the obtuse angles and the acute angles all right number seven state whether the following statements are true or false all parallelograms have opposite sides congruent and parallel since rectangles are parallelograms all rectangles have opposite sides and are parallel. Yep, that's true. Let's prove it. Rectangles have opposite sides that are parallel. Yep, that's true. And they are congruent. Yep, they're congruent means they're the same length. Same length. Not all four sides are the same length, just the opposite sides. So yep, that statement's true. All right, number four, all squares have four congruent sides. Since rectangles are square, squares, all rectangles have four congruent sides. Now remember what the word congruent means. Same length. Well, looking at our picture, does that rectangle have the same length all the way around? You're right. So this is false. Not all squares are rectangles but all rectangles do fit in the square club, which is kind of a tricky thing with all of this. So yes, rectangles do have four sides, but they are not congruent, so this is false. And you're gonna say a rectangle is not necessarily a square because rectangles do not have four congruent sides, which means same length. Push pause if you need to to get all that down. All right, let's dive in to number nine. Number nine, identify the structure. Many aircraft display the shape of an American flag shown below to indicate motion. Classify the quadrilateral. Okay, let's look at this one. They want us to classify it. It has one, two. Oh, there's one side that's parallel. And look at this side. They're parallel because that's the same length from there to there to there to there, so this is parallel. So it has two parallel sides. So I know, with our little handy dandy worksheet here, parallelogram club must have two pairs of parallel sides. So we are gonna say that that cute little guy is a parallelogram. All right, number 10. Adina, you use a quadrilateral in our design. The quadrilateral has no congruent sides and only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. So if we look at this, no congruent means they're not all the same length, and there's only one opposite pair that is parallel. That is parallel with that one, but these ones are not. So she used a trapezoid in her art design. 
and I want you to draw a trapezoid. So just draw something that looks like a pyramid that had the top cut off. Brain builders. Woof, this one was a fun one. Make sure the answer. Tracy planted two tomato gardens. One garden is rectangular. The shape of the second garden has all the attributes of the rectangular garden. In addition, it has four congruent sides. Classify the shape of the second tomato garden and explain. So when they say it has all the attributes, remember attributes are corners, sides, corner sides and angles. There you go. So they're wanting to know, and the trick is that, so we know what it is, is it says congruent. So if it has congruent sides, it means they're all the same length. So you need to draw a shape that has four sides with four angles, and they're all congruent. And it's going to be a lovely, you betcha. The garden is a quadrilateral with four right angles and four congruent sides. Congruent means same length. And that's how we explain. So you need to have this picture drawn and you need to have this explanation. Feel free to push pause if you need to to catch up with us. All right, number 12. Draw a parallelogram that is neither a square or a rhombus or a rectangle and explain how you determined your parallelogram. Okay, so a parallelogram does not have right angles or four congruent sides. So parallelograms have to have two pairs of parallel sides, but congruent means same length. So I drew this little thing right here. Remember, when you're doing this math, you can always use stuff in the previous lesson. So I decided, because it wanted us to not draw a rhombus, rhombus has four equal sides, and it wanted us not to draw a rectangle or a square. So I drew kind of a rhombus shape that was stretched out, so it would classify that it would not be a rhombus. So I drew a parallelogram, which is similar to that flag that we saw up here. Remember, try not to reinvent things. Try to use stuff that the, the lesson gives you. So take a second to draw this, and if you want to know how I drew that, I just took something with a straight edge, and I drew two long lines, and then I took an angle, I drew an angle here, and then just slid it along where it had the same angle. Then I erased all of the extra lines I didn't need, and that gives me my parallelogram. All right, number 13, how do I classify quadrilaterals using their attributes? This is taking you clear back to the very first page where I talked about all of the attributes. So we classify quadrilaterals, one, by their congruent sides or the same length sides. Two, if there's parallel lines and three, if there's right angles. Go ahead and push pause if you need to. And then in, they want, in this 13, they want us to include a real life example. So I just use that flag from the top of the page example of flag in motion and I drew that parallelogram from up there all right friends thank you for your time please make sure that you watch the next video on my homework and if you have any questions please feel free to jump back to yesterday's assignment and watch the math antics video classifying quadrilaterals if you're still not understanding any of this okay thank you